For some who decide to get organ transplants outside of usual channels, sometimes the organs are forcibly removed from living human beings. It's actually quite very frightening issue. Um, she says the Chinese government is taking organs from religious prisoners and selling them all over the world. Dr. Wen Chen joins us now to tell us more. This is an incredible, horrific event. Um, who are they taking the organs from? Uh, according to researchers, uh, the recent, mo most recent reports, about 90% of the organs they removed were from this group called the Falun Gong. This is a meditation practice in China based on traditional Chinese culture. But because this group of people, they are very popular, about 10% of Chinese population do this, like 70 million Chinese people. And it's very healthy group because they meditate, they don't drink, they don't smoke. And a lot of buyers, they designate like they really want to get organs from Falun Gong. And unfortunately, yes, the healthy. Communist Party is persecuting them, and arresting millions of them, and put them in labor camp. They became the major source. And how many people each year are, are victims of uh, forcible organs? According to Chinese medical journals and uh, published articles, uh, they actually do about 100,000 organ transplants every year. But according to China's Red Cross, in the year of 2010, they only had 37 people registered as donors. And Actually, uh, for any organ transplant, not only they need a blood type match, but also tissue type match. Mm -hmm. And many medical journals publish that they have multiple uh, donors' organs waiting for transplant when they do a surgery to guarantee the quality. So it was very common for each transplant they do, they actually have like a three pairs of kidneys or four pairs of liver uh, you know, waiting to be chosen My from. Goodness. So actually, the people they killed is much more than um, a lot more than 100,000. Are these surgeries successful? Are the transplants, do these people survive receiving these organs? Um, it was, has been said from many sources like the organ transplant in China done in very poor quality and aftercare is very bad because it's not surprising if the Chinese government, they can kill seven people and sell you a pair of kidney, they will not care how long you can live afterwards. Um, unfortunately, a lot of this information are confidential but according to a paper published by UCLA in the year of 2008, uh, according to their, uh, the data from their transplant center, they had 14 people went to China for organ transplant. Nine of them died. Um, so they suspect like these are from the So are prisoners. these mostly Chinese nationals or are people coming from other countries to receive these organs? As far as I know, people from all over the world went to China for organ transplants. Uh, that paper from UCLA, one transplant center, they had 14 people went there. And in Egypt, they also had a paper published that they had 15 patients went to China, like they were Egyptians. And also in Taiwan, the South Korea, they have the most people. Uh, actually in Taiwan, uh, they had uh, around 1,000 people going to China for organ transplants every year. And what's the cost of these kinds of organs? What are people paying for, for, for kidney or liver or something? It was very interesting because before the news broke out in 2006, in most of the Chinese hospitals, they had a very clear price chart uh, from $20,000 for a pair of cornea, uh, $70,000 for a pair of kidney, all the way up to 150k for a new heart. Oh. My goodness. And the people who are imprisoned are really in prison because of their faith and no other reason, correct? Yes. All right. And so what can people do about this? How can they be part of a resolution here? I think the most important is for all of us to speak to our elected officials, especially your Congress uh, representatives, and ask them to pass a resolution or a law to prevent Americans from being tricked to China by the organ and die quickly. You know, that's not good for anyone, not even for the patients. Uh, for example, in Israel, they passed a law in 2008 uh, their insurance company will not cover any cost if their resident go to China for organ transplant. Spain regarded this as a criminal crime. Basically, if you're from Spain, you came from China with a new heart, they would think you killed someone. You need to go to jail for that. And Taiwan and Italy both passed laws in 2015 that they sentenced organ tourism brokers to years in prison. So, but the U.S., you know, we haven't done anything. Legal. And this has had a personal effect on you in being able to communicate with your family abroad, correct? Yes. And uh, how does that affect? What, what does that affect? Uh, I have been speaking about human rights in China for 17 years, and actually I never went back to China uh, because I don't want my family there to be in trouble. 
uh, I guess like uh, we all take a little bit of risk uh, to speak out on this, but my risk is much smaller than those who are in China who actually cannot even speak. So we need to contact our congressmen, our senators, our local assemblymen and start yes. at the state level and then move to a federal level at the same time, right? Yes. A coordinated effort. Yeah, even in the city level, the city can pass a resolution to remind their local residents that don't go to China to buy organ because you will face this risk. Even in the city, in the neighborhood, that helps so much because all these organ buyers, they are in our neighborhood. You know, there are people all over the in the U.S. Who are and waiting if there for were no this. buyers, then the supply would, you didn't need the supply. So you're protecting a life by, mm -hmm. not, uh, by not taking this action. Buyer is only one part, but also the U.S. hospitals and medical schools, we're actually training Chinese surgeons uh, by teaching them how to do organ transplant. Actually, Australia passed a law in 2006, they would stop training Chinese surgeons because of this reason. Wow. But now all these Chinese surgeons, they came to US, we teach them how to kill people and they, Doc they do yeah. that. Dr. Chen, wow. is there a site that people can connect with to get more information? Please visit the website stoporganharvesting.org. Thank you, this Thank is a you gruesome very much we need to work and work. A, a act now. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Coming up, did you know there is a Latina History Day? Well, there is, and it's coming up soon, and it's always sold out. Yes, Hispanas uh, Organized for Political Equality of, or HOPE are holding a conference in mid-March, and it's part of the Latina History Day. Uh, the conference chair joins us next to talk about it. Your journey to a bright, healthy smile starts here at the Smile Agency. Dr. Karen Gwynn and her staff are experts in creating your dream smile. The Smile Agency offers braces, teeth whitening, and cutting edge technology that straightens teeth faster than ever. The Smile Agency helped me to have a brighter, whiter smile, and they can help you too. Visit thesmileagency.com and find out how we can help you get a beautiful, healthy smile for life. Retirement's getting closer and closer, but admit it, you're still putting off the planning, right? EH Financial can help you plan ahead to sustain your golden years. Our wealth management and financial planning services are growing in the San Gabriel Valley. And because everyone's situation is different, we'll come up with an investment, estate, or tax plan that works for you. Stop procrastinating. Call us today or visit our website, ehfinancial.com. Don't worry, we'll be there.